Hi, Journalism 120. I want to show you how to upload your wildcard article. So what you do is you go, this is our week that I uploaded the assignment to. So you scroll down. There it is right there. You click on it. And when you, <clears throat> when you do click on the assignment, you'll see, you know, it's got all the regular directions. And it also gives you a heads up on what I'm going to be grading you on and how many points this is worth. Um, and don't forget about that ice cream party. At any rate, here is the marking um, guide, which after I grade it, you will be able to see um, as a marking guide for your specific um, submission. So you add, you click the add submission button and you'll notice that I have a make changes to your submission option here too. That's because I could have said it that once you add your submission, you can't touch it again and it's in and you can't do anything about it. But I wanted to give you the option up to three times to take a look at your paper and if there was something you noticed you did wrong and you'd already submitted it to me that you could make those changes. So use that if that ends up happening to you, if you notice something after you've sent your paper to me. It just has to be before the deadline though. At any rate, you'll click on add submission and then when you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to get this dialog box here. Now I have to give you a warning. Normally I would have you press on this and it would allow you to access your um, files on your desktop or laptop, but it seems to be wonky right now. It's doing something really funky and it keeps locking me into something that causes me to have to close out the entire page. So I wouldn't click on that right now. Better that you should open up and drag and drop a file. So we could just open up another box of, you know, our files, and then I could choose, you know, I, you would pretend that one of these was your, um, was your particular paper and you would just drag it over. It'll take a moment, then it'll come up. You do save changes. And then again, when you scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see I got a message saying you've submitted your assignment. So you should get that. And if you don't get that, that's a sign to you that something went wrong. You can always go back in and edit your submission, like I said. So in this case, you would get that dialog box again. And you would go ahead and drag and drop another file in there. So let's say I'm just going to do a different file so you can see that they're different. I'll put that in there. And now I have two things, so I can click on my original and delete it. Now I'm back to one file. So you would edit your file on your desktop and then replace it here. There's a few other ways to do this, so if you figure it out doing another way and it works for you, great. But otherwise, go ahead and do it the way I just showed you. Hit Save Changes and you'll probably, I think, get another submission email although I am not positive it's set up that way to do that on subsequent submissions. By the way, you can also go over to comments and you can tell me something about your submission. Um, I have questions about my formatting, for example, or whatever it is that you kind of want to tell me about your submission. And that should be it. So then you would just go back to another spot in our uh, website and you're done. Okay, so hopefully that helps.